Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Lisa uh, from Scrapping Fancy, and I'm back today to do some journal flip throughs. I have two new ring bound journals that I've finished that are going to be available in my shop later today. So I thought we'd just do a flip through, and I don't want to, because I have two to flip through, I'm going to try to just be kind of efficient about flipping through them. And so if you're interested, please hang around and see how. I put these together and what's in these. And then if you're interested, be sure to pop over to my Etsy shop. Thanks a lot for being here today. So let's put this one aside and let's get started with this one, which we'll just call Dreamer of Dreams. Um, front cover, obviously, this is a ring bound journal and all the pages are stitched. Um, so they're very securely attached. So that's the cover. And if we open it up, this is the inside page with a Mary Oliver poem on it. And this is a, a file folder kind of operation here. Stickers on the tabs. Open the file folder and this is the inside. And then in this file, this is a file folder here and easy to pull out with the little um, fiber on the paper clip here. There's some fun ephemera here in the file folder for you just like that and turn the page and on this page we've got an envelope but the envelopes also a pocket so there's a butterfly tag in here and a little embossed paper tag that stick in that pocket it's a wax seal and if you lift the envelope in here you're gonna find a beautiful little journaling card made by the hopeful bird on Etsy that's right in there for you this page is just an embossed side pocket and two pieces of ephemera in here, a stitched fabric journaling card and an Oh Happy Day card with a little um, bulb pin and a bead on the fabric card. Um, I was using um, Simple Stories Botanicals for most of the journal. Um, it's one of my favorite lines. Uh, I'm lucky to have a, quite a bit of it still. And this next page is this gorgeous tea dyed lace envelope, which we're going to open. And then inside the envelope, you'll find a poem on a piece of vintage ledger. And that will just go right back carefully in the envelope here. That will close. This page just has a little side tuck with a couple of little tags in it. And I love this page with that live your best life. Try to think about that every day. Rarely make it, but try to think about it. This page is a stitched pocket here. And in the pocket, there's a pink rose tag with some seam binding on this French, vintage French paper background. This page is a Simple Stories frame, and in the frame there's a Mary Oliver quote that I love. Try to think about that every day too. Next page, there's kind of a collage stack here. The Simple Stories paper, some handmade paper, embossed paper, a Simple Stories journaling card, and then a charm, butterfly charm with a jewel inside. This is just a smaller, simpler page, kind of like a, a restful page in the middle of the journal. Um, just a journaling card with some simple stories, stickers, and jewels. This is another side tuck page, and this is just another stitched poetry quote, stitched and typed, I should say, that goes in its pocket with a little fabric tab and another bulb pin and a charm. I've really been sticking to the ring bound format so that I can do whatever I want on the pages because otherwise it ju I just get stuck. And this is a beautiful uh, book page here on a Simple Stories background with a poetry side tuck and these um, Simple Stories flowers that go right in that pocket. I kind of like to keep, yep, I like the flowers kind of hooked on the pocket. And this page is, um, just a little um, embossed tag with a quote and a piece of um, some millinery flowers on it 
with a belly band and a pearl charm. And of course, a typed quote on the um, tag. I turn that page. This page is simpler to make some journaling space for you. Here's a simple stories quote. And of course, that belly band from the other page is just creating a little accent there. This is actually a fabric page. This is fabric stitched on with a wooden embellishment that says bloom, which I thought was just perfect, and a little flower. Turn that page. And this page is um, a, a little collage stack here. Um, so we have a beautiful piece of printed, printed journaling paper, an embossed card and flower, and then underneath it, kind of peeking out, there's a piece of lace and more embossed paper. This little clip here kind of tells you to open this up. And this is kind of like a little journaling notebook for you. These are clipped on, so you can move them if you need to, if you need more space to write. And then you can close that like a little private journaling area. This is a page that has a wonderful Wendell Berry quote on it. And this is uh, die cut paper over some pink glitter paper. And then a pink flower clip. And we're almost to the end. This page is um, an embossed pocket with some journaling cards in it from Simple Stories. And just a little um, side, it's not really a tuck, but I guess it's kind of a Simple Stories embellishment on the embossed pocket. And the back page is one of my favorite parts. This is one of my favorite things to do. There's a bag adhered to the back page. And then inside the bag is an extra journal for you. A little tricky to get out from this angle, sorry. So the journal is uh, completely fabric covered with a fabric stamped quote on it. I'm not gonna go through every page, but you'll get the idea here. But every page is embellished for you as well as giving you all of this space to journal all of your thoughts, anything that you want to say. One of the pages is a, I uh, stapled the page and then made it into a tuck for a tag for you. So that is all extra journaling space for you that's included with the journal and goes right back in this pocket on the back page just like that. And then the back page is embossed ledger and then ledger with uh, um, Reiner Maria Rilke poem on it. So that's the first journal. That is Dreamer of Dreams. So let's switch spots here. This one, I'm just gonna take a peek. Yep, we're still good. This one that we're just gonna call Enjoy the Journey. Um, these are kind of sister journals, but really the insides are pretty different, but I'm using that same um, Simple Stories botanical paper. So this first one opens up and we have that beautiful paper again, which is made by Victoria Designs and a Mary Oliver poem. This page is embossed paper in the back here and then this fabric flip that's velvet lace, crushed organza, a uh, silk ribbon, and then lace with the butterfly, or the dragonfly, I guess, dragonfly charm, and this beautiful life chipboard. I really liked that page. And then uh, it actually made me think of making some fabric flips with velvet and putting those in my Etsy shop, so that will be happening here. This page is a little pocket with some ephemera in it that just pulls right out if you wanna use that for anything. But I thought the combination in there looked pretty good. This again is just a simpler, like a journal card page. There's an F. Scott Fitzgerald quote here that was printed, uh, or I guess made into a download by Allegra Digital. And there's a little um, seam binding ribbon here and a bulb pin with some charms on it. Turn that. And on this page, under the belly band, we have a poetry card and a little um, 
slide, vellum slide frame. And those are helped to help be held in there by this little tiny clip. This page is uh, some Florentine, Florentine paper, Florentine handmade paper with this um, pearl swirl made by Prima and a word here, magic, that I did with um, some kind of a matte gold and there's a little jewel for the dot in the eye. I love these pearl swirls from Prima. And of course, as always, I forgot to mention, but all of my pages have ring reinforcers to help your um, the holes stay in really good shape no matter how many times you are flipping through the journal. This page is another one of those gorgeous lace, lacy doily envelopes. And we open it up and there's a really pretty journaling card here. I just loved this one. And I think, yep, I left that pocket empty because this is on the front of it. So I thought that would be a place for you to use. This page is a butterfly page. There's a gorgeous, um, I don't know what you'd call it. You usually find them in the, in the garden section, um, but a gorgeous butterfly and a pocket and then a Mary Oliver quote typed here about butterflies, which is one of my favorite quotes in the world. I love how she does that with no punctuation. Um, I'm flipping the page. This page is a piece of wallpaper with a few little jewel accents and dream right here above what would have been the label on the wallpaper. This is an envelope page with this these are some of my favorite flowers and now I'm out of them. If you know where to find them, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm going to take this clip off so that we can open the stitched envelope. And I'm using this little um, trim here to make it easier to pull that out. And in here, although I did it upside down, sorry, in here there's just um, a little set of journaling cards, places for you to write. Um, and then a little piece of ephemera from that simple stories line that says love life. We'll just fix that while we're at it since evidently I can't tell up from down and <laughs> stick that back in. But I've been doing that a lot lately with um, putting the trim. You guys, I fight with this every time I'm doing a video. I swear to you, if I wasn't on video, it would just slide right back in. But there we go. But I've been doing that a lot with this little bit of trim. Um, it's really not enough to keep the envelope from shutting nicely, but it is just enough to help you get that out easily. I'm not going to put that clip back on yet because this next page is kind of a twin. I love the quote and the color of this flower. Little trim on here again. And that, that same three stack of journaling cards for you with a little bit of fabric to make it easy to pull. Look at that. It behaved. It went back in all nice. And then the clip kind of goes over both the pages. It's kind of nice decoration on both the pages, but it's also kind of helps to hold those envelopes closed. Just gonna make sure, yep, I'm not out of time. This page is another, this is a frame made by Simple Stories and it's just framing a roomy quote on this really, I like this um, simple, elegant text background. And this page is um, just, you can journal on here if you want to. Um, and it has a roomy quote right here, little butterfly charm. And then this picks up and there's a little journaling space there and a little more journaling space there kind of like a little um, journaling clipboard. And this, uh, the quote isn't even all the way attached so that you could write here too if you wanted to. So that's that page. This page I did nothing to because I just loved it. This is a rose embossed, or yeah, embossed on a piece of handmade paper. And then I just accented it with some um, uh, gilding wax. I didn't, just didn't really think that that page needed anything else. We'll turn that page over. This is a cool book page. Most of these book page downloads are from the Graphics Fairy. 
and a wooden word here that I left pretty natural and a flower with a velvet leaf. And this page is just another journaling stack because I really like doing that. Um, so you have a piece of music paper, a piece of fabric, a handmade tag, handmade paper tag, a piece of ephemera and another piece of ephemera with a little glittery jewel and then some of that gorgeous silk ribbon on the handmade paper tag. And then there's a little um, clip up there. So we're gonna turn that page, we're almost to the end. This is, this page has um, a gorgeous glassine bag with some more glittery jewels. And then this tag is in the bag for you here. And there's kind of just a little collage. It's an embossed manila tag with a piece of ephemera, a roomy coat, and a wax seal. And that just all goes right in the bag for you. And then there's a little quote clipped on here, a quote from E.E. E. Cummings. That's, I am gonna read that one aloud because I just love it. It says, your head is a living forest full of songbirds. Have you ever heard anything more beautiful than that? I don't know, I don't think I have. And the back page is the kind of the same thing as the Dreamer of Dreams journal. There's a glassine bag on here and a journal in here that pulls out. There's a quote on the front and then it's the same. It's a big notebook, lots of pages. Every page is decorated with something for you but leaves you plenty of extra writing space. Because one thing I know is I don't tend to leave a lot of writing space in the journal because I'm having such a good time filling it up. So it's really important to me to leave you something extra in every journal that also stays in the journal as part of the journal. And then the back page is the same thing. There's a um, piece of ledger, embossed ledger, and then a piece of ledger with a poetry quote on it. So that is Enjoy the Journey and Dreamer of Dreams. And I'm hoping to get those posted in my Etsy shop today and get the video up today. Those are goals that I'm shooting for. So I just so appreciate all of you, whoever's watching this, I so appreciate you um, spending your time with me. And I hope that you enjoyed the flip through. I hope you found it peaceful and enjoyable. It's Friday today, so I hope that you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and be blessed. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.